making people realize that anyone can be an entrepreneur and that it is accessible for everybody and that you don't have to conform to like, um, again, being from a certain place or growing up in a certain city or going to college or a certain university. And so there's a lot of different ways to be um, successful as an entrepreneur. But to, to answer the question, probably the most not obvious thing is niceness. Um, people think that, you know, they, like Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg or something, these are just these like brilliant geniuses that are just like jerks to everyone around them. And like somehow to be like an alpha CEO, your job is to, is to act like that. And you cannot be more wrong, right? It's hard enough, like we were talking about relationships earlier. It's hard enough to sell something when you're nice and someone likes you <laughs> and can, to convince them to do something. But if you're not nice, you're making it way harder on yourself. And so some of the best founders that I've met, and again, I would consider this not obvious, they're all really, really nice. And they're really humble, and they're really approachable, and they're the kind of person that you would want to sit down and talk to, and you would want to help, right? If you can be someone that, when you meet them, um, they want to help you with your company, they want to help you be successful, and you can, and you can carry that through your life, that makes it much easier to be, to be an entrepreneur. And so yeah, I think niceness, humbleness, um, and ability to deal with lots of negative feedback, but still not let it affect you too much. Um, those, those are probably the most salient, uh, what I would say are not obvious personality traits you're gonna see in people that are successful. Um, so definitely don't feel like you have to play this part to be a jerk and seem really edgy uh, to, to be able to do a startup. Because yeah, that's, that is not the class. Yeah. Thanks.